Hey guys. So I'd actually recorded another video like three times, but I just didn't, it didn't come out the way I wanted it. So I decided to just say screw it. And I asked about some other topics on Facebook and my friends gave me some good ones. Uh, I was going to do one, but then I decided to do this one instead. Just because maybe I feel like I have a lot of pent up aggression about this subject, so yeah. So I asked my friends to give me some ideas for videos and um, I was going to do one about Target, but I figured I'll wait on that one um, just because yeah, I think it'll be longer. And then I'm going to do this one because it's been a while since I've dealt with this, but I thought I could try and make a good rant video. So um, I wrote down some pinpoints here so that I wouldn't forget. Um, but my friend asked me to do a video about Starbucks, like a rant video about Starbucks. I actually haven't worked at Starbucks for almost a year now. Um, I That was my first job. I worked at Starbucks inside Target. Um, that was my first job and eventually it got to be so much on me that I decided that I wanted to move on to the sales floor and that's where I am now. So she asked me to do a rant video on Starbucks uh, and let me tell you, had she, had I been making videos and had she asked me to make this video a year, almost a year and a half ago, it would have been a lot longer. But because I haven't been there in so long, I feel like I don't really have a lot of aggression anymore. But I wanted to go ahead and do it and give you guys, if you guys are regular Starbucks people, some tips. And hopefully you won't piss off your barista because, let me tell you, ugh. So, first thing I wrote down was sizes. Now, I know that Starbucks, to some people, to the outside people who aren't regulars, um, the sizes are like weird to them and people make fun of them and whatever. I don't agree with them. I think they're kind of stupid. I don't really get them. I don't know why we have to have weird sizes, but they do. And the e the sooner that you learn them, the easier your life's going to be. Because um, if you come up, if I'm working at Starbucks and you come up to me and you either say like, oh, whatever the medium is, har har, I'm going to think you're a fucking retard and I'm not going to want to give you your drink. That's just how it is. It's annoying. We're trained specifically to love Starbucks and to eat, sleep, breathe Starbucks. Like that's just what, that's how they train you. And it's so easy for me to say tall, grande, venti, you know, um, now the Trenta and then they're short, which is the smallest one, which a lot of people don't know about. So I'm trained, like I know what they are, I can spit them out real fast. And like I said, I haven't actually worked with there for a year. It's, in, it's implanted and burned into my memory. I'll never forget it. So it's really not that hard. Short, tall, grande, venti, Trenta, it was a nice drink. My phone would ring right now, wouldn't it? Give me a second. Hello. I'm making a video. Bye. Sorry. Now I'm all off-center. Nope, still off-center. Okay. <clears throat> After I was really interrupted. So sizes, just learn them. They're not that complicated. And if you come up to me and you say something stupid, like I just... That automatically wants me to like not give a shit about your drink, not necessarily make it correctly, not care about your what your name is, not care about trying to talk to you because that's part of my job. It makes me want to get your drink and get you out of my face as fast as possible. So just learn them. They're not hard. They're really not hard. I can guarantee you they're not. And once you get it, you'll be fine. Next one that I have down here is pronunciation. That goes not only for drinks, because I mean for sizes, because I've gotten, oh, can I get the grand? Can I get the verde? Can I get some, just stupid things? And I'll never forget the one person who came up and ordered a Tronta tea. And she, like, was really proud of herself because she thought she said it right. And that's just, like, you're, you look dumb. And I know, like, Starbucks does not mean that you are, like, an idiot. And it's not like it takes someone who has a college degree to, sit, to say these things. But that's the point. Like, you just sound dumb. And I just feel like, personally, I feel like, Starbucks has been around for so long, like, you should just get it. Like, just get it. Just get it. Just get it. But drink pronunciations. Like, I've had people... Caramel macchiato. I had someone call it a caramel mariachi. Are you serious? Like, I, I want to laugh, but it's just so dumb. And they just can't... Mach, ma, macchiato, 
mochiato, like it's not hard. Oh, and then mocha, like they say mocha, like it's just not hard. Most of it's Italian. Most people should know how to how to pronounce certain things in Italian or even Spanish. They're so close to one another. It's just not hard to do. It's so annoying. Just say it right. I'll never, this guy came, while well, I was working there, came up so many times and ordered a grand mocha. Like, and he, well, the first time I saw him, and this is why I remembered him, was because he was, can I get a grand mocha? Yeah, that's how you say it, mocha. Like, he was so sure that he was saying it right that I can't, like, I can't. I can't even. It's just so annoying. And, and although I make sound snobby, like, it's just facts like this is just how every barista I've ever met all of the people I worked with and everything like this is how we are and if you think that we're snobby then I don't think Starbucks is the place for you we're not trying to be snobby you just have to understand that through our training process it's kind of like embedded in our brain and so it just doesn't seem like something complicated and the fact that people make it sound complicated kind of blows my mind the next thing I wrote down is people who joke about regular coffee and like the fanciness of Starbucks. <clears throat> Sorry. People who ask regular coffee and people who joke about the fanciness of it. I always people go up, oh, could you have just like <laughs> plain coffee? <laughs> We're Starbucks coffee, of course we have plain coffee. Like what? who asks that question? Who asks that question? Do you, and then they think it's funny like, or they, they think it's the most ridiculous thing they've ever asked for is regular coffee. Now, is Starbucks known for their specialty coffee and espresso drinks? Absolutely. However, we still offer plain coffee and I'll tell you, uh, nine times out of ten, first thing in the morning, if I happen to stop by Starbucks, I usually just get coffee or I just want coffee. I don't feel like standing and waiting for a latte or a cappuccino. I just want a hot cup of coffee with some cream and sugar and it makes my life happy. And I also like the taste of Starbucks coffee. I got more used to bold coffees and like stronger tasting coffees by being there that just no other bold coffee can do it for me. So it's not a crazy thing, but it's just annoying people come up and they laugh and they think it's funny. Like it's not funny. Like you're an idiot. Stop talking to me. And also people who joke about the fanciness like, oh, Starbucks, prestigious, tuh like we get it and you're just making fun of me and you're making fun of my job and you're making fun of my co-workers and you're really annoying and again I don't want to make your coffee and want you to get out of my face immediately before I take this hot coffee and I throw it in your face or your lap. I don't know I kind of want to save this one for last but I won't because it'll mess up my train of thought. So the next one I have I actually this is literally I wrote frappe slash frappy slash frappuccino. Now, Starbucks is known for their frappuccinos, which is weird because uh, you can get frappes anywhere. And I'm calling it a frappe because that's the technical name. It's a frappe drink. Now, Starbucks has trademarked it frappuccino. Why? I don't know. And again, a lot of people, I won't say, a lot of kids want to look cool and older. So they buy frappuccinos from Starbucks. So if you come up to my register and you're between the ages of like 10 and 16 you're probably ordering a frappuccino and I hate you. Frappuccinos suck. One, you're gonna mispronounce it. You're gonna call it a frappe or a frap which we don't call them. We call them frappuccinos. You're also going to order a double chip which has no coffee in it, a vanilla bean which has no coffee in it, or a caramel and you're gonna ask me to take the coffee out of it. Also, frappuccinos fucking suck to make. They're the most complicated, not even complicated, I have to go out of my way to make them. They take more steps probably than a latte. Lattes, I can just push buttons, steam milk, you're good to go. Frappuccinos, I have to scoop ice, I have to pump this, I have to pump that, I gotta scoop this, I gotta put this in it, and I have to blend it, then I have to manage to get it out of the blender, into the cup, without spilling it, which, until they got new blenders, was really hard to do. Then I have to put whipped cream on it, a bunch of other crap slathered on top of it, and manage to put the lid on it without having it pop through the top of the lid, which again is impossible. If you order a frappuccino, I'm gonna hate you. I don't care if it's 400 degrees outside and you just want something cold. Get a nice tea, get a nice coffee, we might be friends. But if you order a frappuccino, nine times out of ten, I want you to die. 
And that's not to say that I don't drink frappuccinos because they are good, they taste good, but they take a lot of work and if I'm making it for myself it's different than if I'm making it for you and your six friend who just took the bus over here and you should be in school. The next one is picky customers and you know they're the customers that we get all day long who we make fun of and who people would stereotypically put in the Starbucks like stereotype. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the people that other people make fun of and the other people assume go to Starbucks because they do. Like they do. The people who come to me and want a skinny vanilla latte with no foam and 1% milk even though it's non-fat and like all this other shit or the people who want a misto but they only want this much milk and they want us to steam the milk and they want foam on top and they also you know or the people who want a caramel macchiato but they want the drizzle on the bottom and not the top and this that other shit and they want the shots in it not on top which then is making it a vanilla latte with caramel drizzle and you're an idiot and you're just trying to sound cool and you're stupid and I hate you and I hate picky customers because then if you don't do it right, oh my god, and there's this one woman that comes and I'm sure she still does because I still see her at Target all the f***ing time. She comes up and she looks like Lady Gaga if Lady Gaga were in her like 60s and 70s and she asks for all this weird shit, like all this weird, like can I get a pump of this and like half a pump of this and I remember my manager telling me once that she asked for a drive-by shot of like syrup. What the fuck even is that? You're making up shit that doesn't exist. Go die. But anyway, and then she wants she wants the coffee filled all the way to the top. Like, she wants no room at all. And if you leave any, she'll actually put more. And it's like, I can't even put the lid on it because there's too much liquid coming out of the cup right now. As you can see, this is something I'm very passionate about. Something that really irritates me. And I'm so happy after making this video that I've left Starbucks because... The guests on the sales floor are pretty obnoxious, don't get me wrong, but I don't deal with them half as much as I did working at Starbucks and they're just a different breed of people. They really are. Star Starbucks people are a different breed and they're just nuts. They're just nuts. And we actually, these are some other side notes I guess I can put in there. We used to play a game called, um, well it didn't have a name. but. The game was we'd take a piece of receipt paper and we would see someone coming up. Before they got to the register and made their order, we would all write down the abbreviation for what drink we thought they would order. Because people are so stereotypical, people are so e like easy to judge, like you just know. If you, and I'm not racist, but hear me out, if you are Indian, you're getting a chai tea latte or tea or a cappuccino. If you are a white soccer mom, you're getting a caramel, caramel macchiato, um, depending on the weather, either iced or hot. If you are between the ages of, like I said, like 10 to 16, you're getting a frappuccino and I wanted to stab you in the face. Also, if you're a college student, you're either getting a caramel macchiato or a caramel frappuccino, even though you know you're going to go throw that up later because you don't want to gain your freshman 15 and fuck that, whatever trying to think if there's something else. Asians, green tea, everything. Green tea, frappuccino, green tea lattes, and just green tea, hot or iced. I don't know. I'm like really stressed out now, but I'm glad that I got this video done with because this was something I talked about. There, I could truly go on for days and days and days about Starbucks and how much I hated it and how much it sucked and and I still have to go and help cover breaks. And the other day I went to cover a break and the new girl did not make whipped cream correctly. She didn't check to make sure that the uh, O-ring was inside the lid. So when I put the charger on it, you know, to make it whipped cream, it sprayed all over me. And as I said, I was covering a break. I still had to go on the sales floor and my other managers did not offer to get me pants. So I walked around all night long in sticky, smelly whipped cream. It was, it, was he it was heavy cream all over my pants. Heavy cream and vanilla syrup all over my pants. And it was rough. And I just, I, I don't know. 
you always leave there being sticky and disgusting and smelly and I was just and then this whole thing like you think that Starbucks is this like big like hip cool company to work for they're not they expect you all to be robots and I'm not a robot I wasn't allowed to have colored hair I wasn't allowed to have facial piercings I wasn't allowed to have visible tattoos Woosa, woosa. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or kick me if you'd like to chat. I'm all about making new friends. Seriously, I'm super approachable, don't be afraid. Uh, if you want to leave asks on my Tumblr, I always answer. And... Yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in a couple days. I love you so much. Bye.